Hi. Hi. We're at the gate now. So, what do you expect out of this trip? One of the crazy Sex. things. Sex. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to see quite a bit of the world thanks to my job, and I'm so, so grateful for that. However, sometimes when you're on tour or doing one off gigs, you don't always have days off everywhere you go, or you have to choose sleep and recovery over sightseeing on some days off. So it can be really different than just going on vacation and visiting as a tourist. Well, I finally got that opportunity on our honeymoon in Europe. And let me tell you, you've never really experienced Paris until you've seen it through the lens of your filmmaking husband. At first, I was so mad at him for making me wake up at 5 a.m. so he could shoot the sunrise over the Eiffel Tower, and for making me stand out in the freezing cold to shoot a hyperlapse of the Louvre. But once I saw what we captured there, it was pretty awesome. To all my subs, thanks for coming back and hanging out with me. And for all the new viewers, I hope you stick around, enjoy, and subscribe. Now, why don't we properly set the scene, okay? Hang on. Ah, there we go. This is better. Inspired by our amazing night at Le Cabaret. More specifically, the Lido Paris. The show centers around the story of an American girl who ends up in Paris and is overtaken by the sound, sights, and sensuality of the city of lights. She's quickly seduced by it all, never to return to America again. And I can see how it can have that effect on people. Except this version is a little bit different. I'm Liza Quinn and I present to you Two Cuban Americans in Paris. Como un pueblo francés, te cantaré en español. Solo se aguanta ese frío, comiendo y bebiendo alcohol. Now, I'd had crepes in Paris before, but I'd never ever shared a hot crepe on a cold day across from this cutie. And boy, did we eat. And eat. And eat. I pretty much ate my weight in cheese. I'd yet to experience real fondue until this trip, and well, this little spot we found did not disappoint. Ooh, fondue, I want more cheese. <laughs> yes, please. My stomach couldn't get right for about a week after that, but damn it, it was worth it. Ugh, I'm sorry, where was I? Ah, yes, Versailles. No en Versailles de calle ocho, caballero porfa please. Ahí no venden croqueta, en un palacio en París. No, 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 mi gente. This is the Palace of Versailles. And it is breathtaking. Although, I think I blacked out after about mile 11 of hallway 12, so I may have missed some things. But you get the idea. Let's see what's next. Ah, yes, the Louvre. Of all my trips to Paris, I'd yet to experience this wonderful of awe-inspiring works of art, all leading up to the Mona Lisa. With a little grin, she makes crowds flock to her like moths to a flame. Wait, wait, whoa. Okay, let's stop this fantasy right here, because I really gotta ask, why doesn't anyone ever discuss the giant painting directly across from the Mona Lisa? I mean, everyone's huddled around this, this, this tiny little painting when there's this huge one. I mean, how long do you think it took to paint that thing? Anyway, okay, let, let's move on from the Louvre because it'll take like a week to get through it. But after that, you're probably thinking, we finally made it to the top of the Eiffel Tower, right? Well, no. The line was too long, and we were cold and hangry. But but we did make it to the top of Notre Dame, and if you thought I almost passed out trying to get through Versailles, you should have seen me trying to get my frozen butt up and down the steps there. Although, man, the view was worth it. What can I say? The scariest part, however, was not the heights. No. It was, uh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that bird was bold, I tell you. Cold in the eyes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little visual stroll around Paris. Special thanks to our cabaret act, Lady Marmelada. 
That's my alter ego. And uh, to all my Paris experts, please chime in below with any suggestions on what to do next time I get to experience this like a tourist again, because it's always such a magical place. I hope you had fun. Uh, let me know if you dig vlogs like these, in addition to the sketch comedy I post here, because I really love getting your feedback. I just want you guys to have a good time. And I really hope you get to see as much of the world as possible. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks again.